After eight consecutive weeks of sell-off, it hasn't been plain sailing for markets this week either. First of all, natural gas has been on a real roller coaster, surging above $9 per million British thermal units, hitting the highest level in more than a decade as dwindling inventories push prices higher. Natural gas has more than doubled this year alone. It was trading at $3.56 on the 1st of January, and it now stands at $8.97. And analysts don't think it's going to go down anytime soon. And here's why. Take a listen. It's a tight market, right, from a supply-demand standpoint. Uh, but I think there are two sides of it. Uh, first of all, you have geopolitical risk that's uh, actually here to stay, in my opinion. Uh, the world is not a stable place and it's not going to get any more stable in the next 12 to 24 months. So uh, there will be some degree of, uh, you know, uh, risk premium uh, on, of, of that type embedded in the prices going forward. And then you have, from a purely European standpoint, uh, you have the European Commission willing to reduce, actually, uh, you know, bring down to zero the reliance on the Russian gas. On the stocks front, there has been more than one pin in the road during the week. The S&P 500 is down 17% since the beginning of the year, and the Nasdaq nearly 30%. And first quarter earnings haven't really helped the tech-heavy index. Let's take NVIDIA, for instance, normally an economic bellwether for the tech sector. While the stock dropped 10% in extended trading after issuing weaker-than-expected guidance for the second quarter. The company's CFO also said it will slow hiring due to a very challenging macroeconomic environment. And similarly, softer stock snowflakes dropped 14% after a weaker-than-expected guidance for operating margins. But why are tech stocks bearing the brunt of this sell-off? And what should we race for from now on? Here is what Mario Unali, Senior Portfolio Manager at Kairos, thinks. Take a listen. What are we going to see going forward? I think it all uh, depends on, you know, inflation prints in the U.S. Do we get another, uh, you know, disappointment on that side? Do we get higher rates once again? In that case, you know, we could see profitable technology, defensive technology suffering. When you look at, you know, year-to-date performances from the apples of this world, it's down 19 percent, Google down 25 percent. Yes, these are big drawdowns from an individual stock uh, perspective. But then again, when you compare it to the wider market, potentially there's a lot more downside.